Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the InfraWorld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. Here. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's going to stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
try the polite approach. Gets him every time. I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Authorization? God, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Gray, seventh floor, room 43. first. Have a look around. Far away.
Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her to hit me! Sedator, quickly! Please! Get the baby out of here! Please, please let me see her! I want my child! Please! She may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Sorry. I'm sorry. It was my fault. My little girl. 
My little girl. I was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody.
most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan! <laughs> Jody, it's good to see you. I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why all the lies, Nathan? Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment. A home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailangjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission, 
is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infant world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. For the mission's sake, try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Uh, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Got it! Let's go! Goddamn fishing village! Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days. 
Walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! And I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Everything's wet. Let me try. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. You have great work with this. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing.
Where? On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. They see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. They're loading crates into... into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Rid of Wait. Get rid of the soldiers first. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? Uh. 
What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. might not make it back alive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? My name is Holmes. 
Jody, no. Jody Holmes. Agent 894732. I work with the CIA. So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. And what about the entity that was trapped in our containment field? He's tied to me. I was born with him. Fascinating. The Americans have also discovered the existence of this phenomenon. I must inform my superiors. I will return soon to continue our conversation. I'm sorry, Ryan. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Watch out! It's a Jiyoge Shion, sir! Condenser before they realize something's up. Quick, Aiden. We need to move on now. I don't like it. Jody! Jody, what's happening? Get up! One button! Light Amen Lee Guy! Woman Yao went Amen!
Aiden, I need you. Where are you, Aiden?
to the subs. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. Are you crazy? Look, Jordan, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just going to come pouring out if we don't close it. No, it's too late, Jordan. we got to go now. It's the only way. You know that. Explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room.
you scared, Aiden? Stay close, okay? light on this thing. Keep calm, Aiden. No, Aiden. Gotta keep a low profile. Going to die here with me, boys. The 
greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you stupid American bitch! Years of work! All for nothing! Make you pay for what you've done! <laughs> You didn't think I'd let you down, huh? If the hole's breached, we're gonna drown. We're not far from the surface. Maybe we can make it to the top alive. Yeah, sounds like a fucking good plan.
look, I ate the gold. You still angry with me? Yeah, of course I am. But sorry to behave like an absolute idiot. Yeah. Yeah, I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. In other circumstances, I'd be very. But I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Yeah. Yeah, I love you, Ryan. Thank <laughs> you.